In this lesson, we are going to look at loans. When you want to buy something, sometimes you do not have all the money so that you can go directly to the store and just take out all the money and buy something. But you want something very desperately and you end up taking a loan. Let us look at John. In this example that I'm going to do with you, John wants to buy a flat screen TV for 12,000 Rand. And he see that he can take a loan with the following conditions, that he must pay a 10% deposit, and then he must do monthly repayments of 375 Rand per month for three years. Since 375 Rand is not such a lot of money, John decided that he wants to take this loan because he can have this flat screen TV of 12,000 Rand immediately as soon as he paid the deposit. So let us do some calculations and see how much must John pay at the end of the day for this flat screen TV. In a question like this, you will maybe first of all now be asked to calculate the deposit. What is a deposit? A deposit is an amount that must be paid up front before the loan is guaranteed. In other words, the deposit, you need to give it to the store owner before you can take the TV from the store. Now let us work out how much is this amount that John must give the, TV, uh, the shop owner before he can take the TV from the store. He must pay a deposit of 10%. Remember that 10%, the percent always mean 10 divided by 100. And the 10 divided by 100 must be calculated on the full amount of 12,000 Rand that the TV costs. If I work that out with my calculator, I see it is 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 12. Rand. And the amount of 1,200 Rand is what John must pay to the shop owner before he can take the TV from the store. The rest of the money, John is now going to pay that off every month until he has, at the end of the day, paid off everything um, for the loan. In a second part of the question, you can now maybe be asked to calculate the real cost of the loan. In other words, at the end of the day, when John is finished paying for this TV, what is it that he will pay all in all for this TV after he paid it off in the three years period of time? Now, the real cost of the loan, we can say it is the total amount that John has to pay for the loan over the whole life of the loan. Now, we already worked out that John has to pay a deposit of 10%, and 10% deposit on the 12,000 Rand turned out to be 1,200 Rand. Remember, John had to pay that before he could take the TV from the store. Now, over a period of three years, John is going to pay 375 Rand every month, every month for three years, bearing in mind that there is 12 months in a year, how many months will there be in three years? In three years, there will be three times 12, and that is 36 months. If John is now going to pay 375 Rand every month for 36 months, he will end up paying an amount of, okay, let's work that out on the calculator, 375 Rand per month times 36 months, mean that in this period of three years, John will end up paying another 13,000 Rand, 13,500 Rand. If we now think that John originally did give the store owner 1,200 Rand as a deposit, and now 
over the three years, he pays another 13500 All in all, the total cost of the loan was then 1200 plus 13500 Meaning that John didn't at the end of the day end up only paying 12,000 Rand for the TV. But in fact, this whole amount of 13,500 plus 1,200. And this gives 14,700. Why did John now pay at the end of the day more for the TV than originally the TV cost? The reason for this is that when we make a loan or when we borrow money, we need to pay the person who we are borrowing the money from certain compensation for this privilege of using the money and that I can now have the TV and pay over a longer period of time simply mean at the end of the day that you will end up paying more for the TV than if you should have maybe decided to pay it for buy for cash.